in this video, I'm going to show you a defense that you can honestly use against any offense that's going to help you get more stops. It's going to help you kind of control the game a little bit, keep the offense in front of you. Madden 22 is one of the hardest games that I've ever played. Probably the, honestly, let me just put it as bluntly as I can. It is the hardest game to get a consistent stop. So what you want to do is you want to try to force your opponent to have to work. You want to try to get them in a position where they're going to have to drive down the field. You're going to play Bimba Don't Break, and then we're going to try to get a stop in the red zone. This defense I'm going to show you in this video is going to equip you to be able to do that at a very high level. To be honest with you, it's actually very, very simple, and it's something that you can really do out of every formation in this game, but I'm going to teach it today out of what I would argue is the best formation to do it out of, and that is the nickel normal. Now, my, my favorite defense that I have ran all season long, I've ran 2-4-5 uh, odd, nickel triple, 3-3-5 uh, three, three, odd, uh, three three five wide three three five all of those different concepts i have to tell you the two defenses i love the most the first one is the nickel triple i love the pressure that we can send out a triple but the second one and a very close second one is my nickel normal defense now i've got an ebook about this in uh that covers all of these concepts in my patreon by joining the patreon you get everything you get all the ebooks you don't just get the nickel normal you get the nickel triple the nickel normal the three three five wide all of it we've got 14 offensive and defensive guides available at the patreon for literally just one price of ten dollars a month if you want to sign up for it you get everything as soon as you sign up there's a link in the description if you want to check that out but let's talk a little bit about this concept i'm actually going to teach this today um against you know we can really do this against anything i'm actually just going to teach it against trips i think trips tied in is becoming increasingly popular and i actually think it's actually tougher to guard uh, than bunch if you're playing somebody that really knows what they're doing out of it. So what we want to do here is we want to go back in the nickel normal. Now, really important. If you look at the bottom of the play call screen, you're going to see a couple of things. You're going to see random nickel, random play, which is kind of a practical thing. But then you're going to see two other things. You're going to see substitution and packages. If I flip that right joystick to the left one step, you're going to see here it's going to put the free safety inside package on the field. What that does is it puts a free safety at the nickel corner. Now, I can then hit the triangle button or the Y button on Xbox to go ahead and put in whoever I want. Whoever I want to be on the field, I can go ahead and sub them in, right? So I can put my best pass rushers um, on the outside. I could put safeties, for example, at the linebacker position, which I would highly recommend in this year's game, just the way it plays. I could then uh, re-sub in a nickel corner there. And then as you can see, I'm just kind of filling out uh, just kind of filling out my my lineup here so i've got mccordy and phillips on the back end i got jackson and then i got a couple safeties down here that i could use or if you want to have high tower in you certainly can do that now the play we're going to actually come out in every single time to do this defense is the tampa two i think it works best out of tampa two again the way we're going to set this up you're going to see that it's actually really really hard to bomb it's really hard to bomb this it's really hard to one play score this they have to kind of take their check down and that's really what we're banking on. We want them to have to take a check down, drive up the field, have to, you know, again, check down, check down, check down. If they try to force something, we could potentially get an interception. But we're going to come out of the nickel normal. Now, when we come out of the nickel normal, I'm going to go ahead and back the ball up just a little bit just to give us a little bit more room. And I want to show you something within this package. What you're going to notice, because we have that free safety inside package all equipped, when we go to hot route McCourty, Instead of having a deep path, you're going to notice that we can actually put him in an outside third. So I'm going to put him in an outside third to the left. I'm going to put the right side guy in an outside third to the right. We can do that by individually adjusting. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and pinch my defense. And then I'm just going to pick uh, the linebacker that I want to use her. Typically speaking, I like to use her the linebacker that is on the same side as the running back. So as you can see right here, he's on the same side as the running back. You could actually make a fairly good argument for either side. It really doesn't matter to me which linebacker, but just use one of them. The beauty of nickel normal, why I like running this out of nickel normal, is because then I can actually hot route my middle linebacker because he is technically a middle linebacker on either side. Either one of these guys, notice this, I can put them in middle thirds. That's huge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the guy that we're not using in a middle third, and then we're going to do something really, really important. We're going to spy the defensive tackle that is opposite of the running back we're going to put the defensive tackle on the running back side in a bluff blitz and then we're going to kind of stand right here it's a two-man rush 
We've got two yellows underneath with a spy. We've got two uh, cloud flats on the outside, really good. And then these middle third zones are going to do an incredible job. So here I'm just going to set up one of the more popular route combos in the game. We've got an absolute ton of freedom with our user to be able to kind of guard whatever we want. If you want to add zone drops into this, you certainly can. But just notice here, we're just going to be working over the middle of the field here. And just notice how this coverage kind of works. Pretty solid coverage. Right there, the crosser, we would have taken that. Um, if this was like an actual concept but you know basically what your job is to do in, in terms of defining your role on this concept here is you know you're really looking for crossing routes really that's the primary route that's going to kill this or at least it's going to be consistently effective against this is a deep crossing route so you could also like i said you could use it like this where you put the three wreck on the other side and you have a qb spy there get a little bit better coverage on the tight end in that scenario and now maybe we go to like a slant post now if you get a slant post concept something like that out of trips all you've got to do is carry this little slant and then you've pretty much got everything bagged on the back side of this they're gonna to have to take their flat as you can see you know Madden 22 you can throw it through two defenders in this game but as you can see pretty decent coverage uh, all in all now another concept I want to go over you're definitely gonna see this especially if you've played uh, Madden 22 at all really any year of Madden you're gonna see this concept utilized and that is the general kind of standard uh, three wide receiver flooding combination so here you're gonna see just a three level flood obviously we don't want that linebacker to do that it's actually not a big deal if he does but we're just going to do kind of a three-level flood here. I just want you to watch how this coverage works. It actually plays this fairly well. The corner route is open, but it's not immediately open. You could actually run with that if you wanted to, because again, you have complete freedom uh, as the user in this in this uh, in this defense. So again, it's one of my favorite little defenses. It just kind of forced them to have to move up and down the field. I've been talking about this defense since like August, but I've been talking about it out of a lot of different sets. You can do this very practically. You can do this out of you know this little um, you know this little set right here and have a lot of success. So again, here you see the adjustments. Just we're putting those guys in outside thirds. We're putting the middle linebacker in a middle third, and then we're just kind of kind of work the underneath stuff. Force them to have to throw stuff like that. Um, you know, if we really wanted to, we could certainly take that away. There's some unique adjustments we can do out of trips that will allow us to you know be a little bit better in defense on stuff like that. But the bottom line is, we just want to try to force them to have to work. We want to try to pigeonhole them into a situation where they're going to have to take certain routes. They're going to have to take certain routes, and then you're going to be able, you know, because of the way the user is in this game, we can say, well, we know they're going to have to do kind of one or two, three or four things, right? We know kind of generally speaking. It's so like you get a concept like curl flat here. Again, we're just forcing checkdowns. We're just forcing checkdowns. They try to get greedy on it. You see those outside thirds will actually react significantly better to deep routes than a um, – you know than a, than a deep half last little piece here i want to show something real quick this is a standard kind of coverage beater uh, out of this another little trick you could do if you want to kind of help your coverage from getting bombed what you want to do here is you want to set up your coverage just like i've been talking about but then what you want to do is hit the protect the sticks feature right there and what that's going to do generally speaking you're going to have a pretty decent success at kind of holding them from throwing these one play scores. So you see like right here, um, you see how that middle third is gonna go right at him and he's gonna kind of hang with that with that deep bum. There's obviously a lot of other things that we can do that will slow this down. I just showed you probably one of the better bombs in the game and you're still kind of okay. Obviously if you needed to, you could certainly run with the bomb. There's a lot of things we could do with this, but the reality is, you know, you know, you get a, something, something like this. This is a popular, um, this is a popular concept here. Well, now we've got, notice this real quick, you've got this inside third, you've got that deep third, the sheds are going to come in, you've got kind of a decent chance uh, to hang with some of this stuff. And that's really what this is designed. You're not going to hit ho hit over the top too much. And like I said, you can attach zone drops to this. And then if you want to, at the right time, what you can do, kind of pick and choose your spots, well, now we can go ahead and send a little pressure uh, and we still have those outside thirds. We just know that our responsibility is we're in charge of that stuff over the middle. So you see here, just kind of blitz the linebackers, do a little quick pressure at them, kind of jump the flats. That's something you can utilize for your red zone defense. We've got some other stuff in the ebook that we'll talk about. But again, that's just a simple concept that you can use. Kind of play that contain game. Play that bend but don't break game. You know, simply try to force them to go underneath. I think that that's actually super underrated in the way the game plays this year. You want to just try to keep yourself from getting bombed. 
I think that's a really, really big piece uh, of how you want to be playing defense right now. And I think what you want to do is, again, just like any good defense, you want to force your opponent to have to work. You want to force them to have to play left-handed. You want to take away what they do best. This defense does a lot of that for you. So that's a little piece of the nickel normal. If you want to learn more about the defense or if you just want to get better at Madden, you're still watching the video, head on down to the description. Check out that Patreon membership. I'm going to put it down in the description below. You can get this ebook. You can get all my ebooks for one price just by joining the membership. You get everything. And the price is just 10 bucks a month. So if you're still watching this, you want to get better at the game, head on down to the description and uh, go check out the Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys.